Twas the time for Christmas and all through the Heat's house. The anticipation is building to erase the memories of last year out. The Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. The banners are hung from the rafters with care, knowing the NBA season soon will be there. And with this season starting comes a holiday list from the Heat to Santa. Call it a championship wish. Dear Santa, please let LeBron close out games in the fourth quarter. You never really can ultimately get over losing the finals. While LeBron was as good as advertised last year, when it came down to the late moments in the finals, there was little cheer. James on the pull up, short. Next up, let's see the more aggressive Chris Bosch. We saw it at times last season, but other times he looked lost. Trying to add something to my game every single year um, so I can be a complete player. With Shane Battier signed on the dotted line, keep him and Udonis Haslam attacking teams and all will be fine. It's something this team sorely lacked. Can you imagine how much better Miami will be with them now on track? How about having rookie Norris Cole as good as he's seen? Yes, we know he's a rookie, but his quickness could really help this team. And finally, the wish we ask for every year. Keep Dwayne Wade all together to bring opponents some fear. He's the leader, the heart and soul, true captain of the Heat. A healthy Wade with our other wishes, and this team will be tough to beat. When we last saw the Heat, they were walking off the court after a season-ending loss in Game 6 of the NBA Finals. The players and their fans immediately looking ahead to a brighter future that the next season would bring. Who could have guessed then it would take nearly five months before we knew we would even have a season? The lockout changed everyone's plans. Several players, including LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, took part in a series of charity games, including one at FIU, to raise money for good causes. It's kind of the mentality that all of the players have been taking. Um, you know, we really want to show our fans that, you know, this is for them. Wade went overseas on a business venture to China, and LeBron put on a clinic in Shanghai. But unlike several NBA players, the Heat's biggest stars never seriously considered playing professionally outside of the NBA. Instead, they were seen around town and in their hometowns, watching or taking part in other activities. LeBron James even opened a new concept store at the Aventura Mall called Unknown. LeBron is part owner and will actually help design some of the merchandise. The store features men's and women's clothing and shoes from some very hip brands. D. Wade showed off his new Jordan Fly Wade 2 shoes. During the lockout, he helped design and test the shoes. Wade said the style and finish were inspired by something he loves, automobiles. So I like Aston Martins, right? If you think about Aston Martins, how clean an Aston Martin is, how sleek it is, you think about the front of Aston Martin, um, how, you know, how it's shaped. Training camps finally did just open two weeks ago. And the Heat had just two preseason games scheduled just days before the opener against the Mavericks. They suffered no effects from that long lockout, and their goals were clear. We didn't come together to, you know, make the playoffs and or come together to, to win a playoff series. We come together to, to win the NBA Finals. He was in charge of weathering the storm around the Heat last season. The media, his players, the critics. Yet as this new season begins, Eric Spolstra seems at ease with the task ahead. What did you learn from last year? What is the one thing you took away from last year personally and as a coach that you learned from the season you went through? Uh, the ability to focus on what really matters. Uh, and it is a challenge, uh, particularly in today's society. We live in a microwave society uh, where everything is based on instant gratification. Uh, when you're trying to build something truly great, uh, and in particular, a great team, uh, there's no shortcut to it. Does it bother you that last year, in many eyes, was viewed as a failure because you didn't win at all? Uh, that's just the nature of sports. Uh, I think it's uh, more amplified now than maybe it used to be, but it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant to us. Uh, we went through a, an exhilarating ride last year. Um, Eastern Conference champions, uh, two games within reaching our goal. Uh, we didn't reach it. That doesn't mean it's an epic failure. 
Certainly not a failure for Spolstra and his team. And for his efforts, he was recently awarded a contract extension. And I've been with this organization for 16 years, much like uh, so many people, uh, that there's a, a great trust uh, with the Arison family uh, and the Riley family. Uh, yeah, I plan on being here you know, for a while. They've treated me great. And the only thing on his mind is for this team to continue to improve and win an NBA championship. And that is the expectation? Is that a safe thing to say? Yeah, we understand what our expectation of the season is. Uh, what's important is we can't fast forward to June right now and assume anything. But what we can focus on right now is the today. Uh, and work on improving every single day. And I think that's one of the most important things we did last week. The Heat made their preseason debut a dazzling one earlier in the week. The big three were their usual outstanding selves, seemingly in midseason form. Also of note, Heat rookie Norris Cole, he looked really good in the team's scrimmage and got in a couple of more memorable baskets against Orlando as well. Norris is hoping to carry that over when the regular season begins. So just who is Norris Cole? Andrew Brody takes a closer look at the Heat's top draft pick. Just a few months ago, Norris Cole was a college senior playing point guard for Cleveland State. The Heat coveted the speedy 23-year-old so much they made a draft day deal to grab the first round. Norris Cole from Cleveland State University. I'm going to South Beach. I had the biggest smile, I was smiling ear to ear, you know, my whole house erupted. The rapid fire change of fate left an entire household in Dayton, Ohio stunned. Things like this just don't happen to kids playing far removed from the national spotlight. Once the euphoria began to fade a bit, reality set in. Cole could very well find himself on this court handling the offense, looking to feed the ball to LeBron on one side or Wade on the other. It's a prospect some rookies might find intimidating, just not Cole. I don't think it's intimidating. You know, to me, it's almost like a relief factor. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to do too much. You just keep everything simple, and you know, at the end of the day, those guys are definitely gonna make a play for the team. Well, when you get out there, you can't be a starstruck. You know, I have to, I have to play my role. Everybody has to do their role in the team. But, you know, it is kind of a relief to know that, you know, at the end of the day, if something breaks down, you have three players that can put the ball in the hole, three players that can make a game-changing play. So that's great. The transition into this surreal role meant an unexpected and lengthy delay. As the lockout dragged on, the Heat's newest acquisition became a player without a home. But he soon learned if you can't come to the team, the team will come to you. Cole's cell phone chirped, and there was a message from LeBron James. Uh, at first it was a text, you know, he texted me, congratulations, welcome to the family. And then he knew I was up in Cleveland because I'm in the area. Then he, then he called me and said, what's up, young fella, you want to come down and work out? And I was like, yeah, I'll come work out. And then, you know, worked out, talked, you know, it was great. When Cole finally did report to camp, he brought another source of comfort from that home that seems a world away, his mom. After all, the rookie is not so far removed from both remembering and now realizing his childhood dreams. 